Hello, my name is Panaskar Halios and today I'm going to explore the DVD documentary that I researched named The Truth About Sleeping, which was presented by Dr. Michael Mosley and was broadcasted at BBC One on Thursday the 11th of May. To begin with, I had to base my research upon Theo van Leeuwen's and John Phelps theories, which argued that understanding genre entails noticing how the documentary shapes the audience, how the documentary circumscribes the topics they should be about, who they should address and how, what background knowledge is required to understand the genre, what their purpose is and what are they designed to do, and where might we encounter them. My first point was about how the documentary shapes the audience. Well, my research shows that it doesn't contain strong and offensive language or scenes. This makes it perfect for many types of audiences to watch of many ages. Also, the documentary is based upon a subject that might attract a wide range of ages of audiences. My second point was about how the documentary circumscribes the topics they should be about. Firstly, the use of music is related to the subject at the very beginning of the documentary. The music is called Can't Sleep by Kate Lay. Furthermore, the documentary starts with a shot of the presenter, Dr. Michael Mosley, who is a medical journalist and a chronic insomniac being in his bed at night, explaining what the documentary is about. This fulfills the purpose of the documentary, which is exploring in depth the truth about sleep and the problems that many people have. Also, it contains experiments to understand whether a person is sleep deprived or not. My third point is who they should address and how. The presenter is going to team up with world-renowned experts to pick apart cutting-edge research and conduct pioneering tests on sleep-deprived volunteers. These people might be contacted by sending an email or calling them, telling them that we would like them to participate in a documentary that we are going to be making about the problems that people have when they try to sleep. Also, with the element of interview, the presenter is interviewing random people in the streets of many ages in order to understand whether there is a big problem in our country or not, and how common is this problem. He also mentions that the problem of insomnia and having a trouble to sleep uh, is running in his family. There are a couple of shots of him and his family. And also, they should address other experts who specialize in the subject of having a trouble to sleep. My fourth point is about what background knowledge is required to understand the genre of this TV documentary. First and foremost, the audience must be able to know that there are many people that do not get enough sleep at night, and most people are actually aware of this problem. Secondly, people must know that this is a very common problem in this country. The fifth point is about what the purpose is of this documentary and what are they designed to do. Well, firstly, it's about inform people about this sleep problem and explore this problem in depth. And also mention ways to understand more about their sleeping problems if they do have sleeping problems. The sixth and last point of this research is about where might we encounter them. Well, firstly, it's very difficult for people to switch off their smartphones an hour before bed, as they suggest, because technologies have been made this way that people cannot actually be separated from them. They also suggest that eating two kiwis before bed in a regular pattern will be also good at curing sleeping deprivation. Well, it won't be very easy because many people do not include fruits at their diet. And also, kiwis are not the most pleasant fruit for many people. This was my research upon the TV documentary called The Truth About Sleep by Michael Mosley. My name is Pans Karahalios and thank you for watching.